Hey Jamrin developers, this is Jamrin guys. So for this tutorial, in this tutorial, we'll be creating button click event from our both code behind and Jamal part. So in order to create such type of project, we'll go to file new and then select project. Here we'll be basically dealing about both Android as well as iOS project. That's why I'll select this cross platform and give it a name as anything you may like and then click on OK. After that, you can select a shared as well as a portable project. It can work in both. Let us go to app.cs. It's my previous version of Jamlin. That's why it is showing app.cs. It may be your app.jaml.cs. Here main page is a placeholder whose contains the page to be loaded. Here page 1 is going to load at first when our app gets started. Now let us go to our Jaml part of page 1. We have already discussed in previous session about content page and how they are used. Here the stack layout will be present inside my content page and I'm including a button inside my stack layout where I'm giving a text as when I'm click and horizontal option as well as vertical option as center and I'm creating here a button click event. This button click event is going to be handled over my page1.xaml.cs that is our code behind. So let us go to our page1.xaml.cs that means when I click that button that button will get navigated towards our second page. Here all the work is happening in background that's why we are using a sync value. Here I will be navigating my first page towards our next page that is our page 2. Now let us go to our page second XAML part. Here I will include stack layout inside my content page and giving a label as text. This is my page second and font size as large and text color as white. You can give anything and play around it. That's all for our button event in XAML part. Now let us compile and run our project whether it gives me correct output or not. Okay, we got our expected output when I click it and I get navigated to second page. That's all. Now let us perform same step in code behind. Now let us quickly go to our page1.xaml. Then I'll comment it out by pressing Ctrl plus K plus C. I have to comment it out all and then let us go to code behind of our page1.xaml this was code behind for my xaml part that's why i comment it out again let us uncomment our code behind button click event i will uncomment it by pressing ctrl k plus c plus u here i am creating a new button as new button and giving a text as hello old background color as color dot black i will put it down so that it is easily visible and then vertical option as layout dot center and text color as color dot white. When this button is clicked, then its event is going to be generated, and I'll represent that button inside a new. Now let us create a method for our button click event. Then I have to give it a synchronous value, and then I have to push it towards our navigation page that is our page 2 push async and then I have to give new page 2 that I have already created it that's all so this is my second page now let us compile and run our project whether it gives me correct output or not okay we got our expected output if you click it then it gets navigated to second page that's all thank you guys thanks for watching this tutorial keep in touch for next tutorials